We're here today at the, uh, in the lab at Diverse Dimensions and we're going to measure up this plate today. I've already got a start on it. I've done my model preparation and I've captured just the alignment features on here. But what I want to show you guys today is how to do the 3, 2, 1 alignment. Um, pretty simplistic alignment, pretty much the, the most common one that we've seen used around here too. And we're going to be using it in the datum scheme, in the ABC datum scheme. So again, I've just measured the alignment features to get me into this alignment. But jump into the software here with me. I want to show you how we're going to go through this 3, 2, 1. First, I think what I'll do is I'll show you guys what we've got for the part. I've got the drawing up here, and if I scroll down just a little bit, you can notice here that the bottom of the plate is my datum A. That datum A is going to be made up of multiple points on that plane, and I'm going to solve that for, uh, or I'm going to use that in my, in my alignment as my primary datum. Now, if I scroll up a little bit, notice here is my datum B. This datum B is set up as a line or an axis, and I'm using it right now between this whole 81. And then if I scroll over to there, notice whole 82 is the other feature that's forming this axis. Then I'll scroll back over here and then down just a little bit, and then you'll see that this datum C is actually set up off that as well. So what I'm using is this 321 coordinate system inside, or the 321 alignment inside of Polyworks. And I've already got these features measured on this part. I've measured this datum A plane, the, the face of this part. I've also measured this whole 81 and this whole 82, which are these two bushings right here and right here. I've actually measured them as cylinders and then I've intersected the cylinder to that plane on the top there um, to give me just a single point because what I needed is to form an axis or this line right here um, and I call that my datum B line. Now, so all those features are in, uh, they're already captured, but notice this, they're way out here. They're close to my device position out here. Well, I'd like those to be on the part so I can continue this measurement. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to the Align menu here and then Feature Based. Notice I've got many options underneath here, this uh, Feature Based Alignment, but I'm going to poke on this top one here. My top option is my Plane Axis Center Point, which we call the 321 Alignment. But also notice this, underneath, uh, underneath this alignment I've got multiple options even on the sequence on, uh, on the priority of these parts, or of, of, this, of the features here. I've got a plane, center point, axes. I can go center point, axes, plane. So I do have multiple options depending on how your, your datum scheme is set up. But in this case, I'm just going to use the plane, axes, and center point. Now the parameters I'm going to set up here first, though I'll grab my plane, that datum A plane, and my source is the measured data, and then it's going to snap to the nominal feature. So notice that in my window here in my 3D scene, it's already starting to, to work its way over to that part in the CAD model. Now my axis is going to be my datum B line. And again, it's going to start with my measured data. Now notice there, it kind of snapped to that line. And then my center point, the source of that is going to be my whole 81 point. And again, that was my intersected point between that cylinder and my datum A plane. So I'm going to hit that. And notice this, that without even confirming, I've got all of these features that are lined up over top of the CAD model. And then I look at this point right here. This is going to be my origin. This whole 81 point is zero in all deviation for X and Y, which is perfect. That's what I'm expecting, as if this was getting pinned in a gauge with a, a taper pin. So I'm going to say confirm that. And then my data from way out here jumps right over to my part. And again, look at this. I've got my whole 81 point, which is truly my origin. It is zero for X and zero for Y in my deviation. So now I can go ahead and start measuring this panel up. And I've got multiple holes. You can see that on here. I've got a lot of holes in front of me. And uh, again, too, the, the cylinders that I'm measuring have all been checked back to their location in the model, plus their perpendicularity back to A. 
So I'm going to go through and test the rest of these, uh, these drill bushings as well for these dimensions. And, uh, but I just wanted to show you how quick and easy you can do a 3-2-1 alignment inside of followers. Thank you.